Today, we will answer a geometry challenge related to Mickey Mouse. So this is the Mickey Mouse puzzle. So here's the question. Given this big circle, let's draw a circle like this with a radius of 1 and another circle with a radius of 2 and another circle with a radius of 3. By the way, these circles are tangent to each other and internally tangent to the big circle. Now the question is what is the radius of this big circle? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you get the correct answer. Alright, so our goal in this question is to find the radius of this big circle. So to answer this question, we will use some laws and some theorems. The first one is when two circles touching externally, the center of these two circles and the point of tangency are said to be collinear, and also the distance between these two centers must be the sum of their respective radius. Now, we will use this concept to answer this question. Alright, first, let's have the center of these three circles. Next, let's connect all of those centers like this. And now, the measure of this segment must be equal to 1 plus 2 or simply equal to 3 units. This segment measures 1 plus 3 or simply equal to 4 units. And this segment must be equal to 2 plus 3 or simply equal to 5 units. Now, this is very important because we have triangle with a side and 3, 4, 5. So definitely, this is a right triangle. Now, another concept to answer this kind of question is when two circles touching internally. So it said that the distance between the two centers must be equal to the difference of their radii or their radius. So now, let's get the center of the big circle like this. Now, let's put this figure outside the big circle like this. Now first, what is the distance between the center of the big circle and this point? So since the radius of the red circle is 3, therefore this distance must be equal to r minus 3. Or the difference between the radius of the big circle and the radius of the red circle. Now, using the same concept, we can now get the distance between these two points. This is just r minus 2. And the distance between this point and this point must be equal to r minus 1. Now, we will use this concept or this figure to answer this question. So let's focus on this figure. Now at this point, to continue, let's call this angle be equal to alpha and the other angle be equal to beta. Now take note, alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. All right, we will use this concept later on. Now, but for now, we will use this triangle and to find the value of r, we will use the law of cosine or the cosine law. But in this case, we will use the special format. So in this case, we want to solve for the value of cosine c. So we will use this format. So cosine c must be equal, this format, cosine c must be equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared all over 2 times a b. So we will use this format to answer to solve for the value of r. So let's do that. Now, applying this law of cosine to this triangle, we will have cosine of alpha must be equal to 4 squared, this side, plus r minus 1 raised to the power of 2, minus r minus 3 raised to the power of 2, all over 2 times 4 times r minus 1. Next, simplify the numerator. We have 16. We have here r minus 1 squared, r squared minus 2r plus 1 minus r minus 3 squared or simply r squared minus 6r plus 9. Next, 2 times 4 will give us 8. And then, let's combine like terms on the numerator. If we do that, we get 4r plus 8. So all over 8 multiplied by r minus 1. And then divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So we get that cosine alpha must be equal to r plus 2 all over 2 multiplied by r minus 1. So we will use this. Let's skip this and we will use this result later on. Next, let's have the other triangle. 
Again, we will use this concept, the law of cosine. So we have cosine of beta must be equal to 3 squared. Here's 3 squared plus r minus 1 squared minus r minus 2 squared all over 2 times 3 multiplied by r minus 1. Now simplify again the numerator. This will give us 9 squared. r minus 1 squared becomes r squared minus 2r plus 1. And r minus 2 squared becomes r squared minus 4r plus 4. Denominator becomes 2 times 3 is 6 multiplied by r minus 1. Next, combine like terms on the numerator, we will have 2r plus 6. And now divide the numerator and denominator by 2. So cosine of beta equals r plus 3 all over 3 multiplied by r minus 1. Now, using these two result, cosine of alpha and cosine and beta, we are now going to solve for the value of r. But before that, we will use this. It says that alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. So we can rewrite this beta in terms of alpha. So beta equals 90 degrees minus alpha. So we can replace this beta with 90 degrees minus alpha like this. Now since cosine, this cosine is complement sine. So the value of cosine 90 degrees minus alpha is simply equal to sine of alpha. Now, let's use the Pythagorean relation in terms of sine and cosine. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. This is the Pythagorean identity. And we have here sine alpha and cosine alpha. So if we square this, r plus 3 all over 3 multiplied by r minus 1 squared, add to the square of r plus 2 all over 2 multiplied by r minus 1 raised to the power of 2, we will end up with 1 like this. Now we will focus on this equation and we are trying to solve for the value of this r. So let's do that. First, let's simplify this equation a little bit. So let's multiply both sides by r minus 1 squared and then square this. So we have r plus 3 squared all over 9 plus r plus 2 squared all over 4. Next, multiply all of this term by 36. So we have 4 multiplied by r plus 3 squared plus 9 multiplied by r plus 2 squared equals 36 multiplied by r minus 1 squared. And then expand this term with the power of 2. So we have r squared plus 6 r plus 9. This r plus 2 squared is r squared plus 4 r plus 4. And this r minus 1 is r squared minus 2 r plus 1. Now multiply this by 4 by 9 by 36 and combine like terms. We will end up with this quadratic equation in terms of r. We have 23 r squared minus 132 r minus 36 equals 0. Now this is not hard to factor because if we try to factor this out, we get 23 r plus 6 multiplied by r minus 6. And take note, it is equal to 0. So it follows at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can now solve for the value of r. So the first value of r must be equal to negative 6 over 23. And the second value of r must be equal to positive 6. Now, is r can be a negative number? Of course not. So r cannot be a negative number. Therefore, the only possible value of r that satisfies this equation must be equal to 6. So given this equation, the only value of r that satisfies and must be equal to 1 is 6. It also follows that the radius of the big circle is 6 units. Therefore, given this Mickey Mouse puzzle, the measure of the radius of the big circle is just 6 units. And as always, we are done.